praise the sisters you are safe. Don't think I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help. You love Garlemald dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain. But you're not alone in that. We all mourn what has become of our homeland. Bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? I've yet to find the answers. But I won't stop looking nonetheless, and I won't avert my gaze from our grim reality. Is there hope for us? Aye, so long as we live. Gullamold lies in ruins, but the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. You and I, it's links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. To be lectured by the young man, it ill becomes a man of my station. I will rejoin the talks at Tertium. Might I trouble you to escort me? Elipard, I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life. And I thank you. Euless, wait. I'd like a word. With you as well. I'm to stay close, after all. Worry not, we shall see the Magistrate safely back to Tertium. What is it? You bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. Uh, shall we walk, perhaps? Chilly, standing around here. So that's how Zero came to join you. Still, I'm not sure I'm qualified to explain something like trust. I wouldn't describe myself as a sociable person. Before all this, any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. As for the Magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the Twins' influence. Trust is infectious, in a manner of speaking. When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them, in others, in yourself. 
Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. Little wonder my world is devoid of it. No one trusts in you, and so you trust in no one. And round the wheel turns. During the Contra Memoria, we had already come to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. My mother wanted to save the world, to fulfill the hopes of Memoriad's good and true. After she died, I carried on her mission alone. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. A swordsman and a mage, whom I met when passing through a village. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriads. When they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search for means to end the Contra Memoria. They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. I would not be forced to submit. I expected some manner of outburst, some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Perhaps they shared a bond of trust. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared. Perhaps they hoped I was like them too. Perhaps it was just an offer, and nothing more. I continued fighting alone, but ultimately I was undone, overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. I was cold, in pain wishing desperately that someone would save me. And as I lay there in solitude, I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Darkness washed over me, and I was swept into the rift. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. My home. Now filled with abominations. I had a chance to learn about trust. And forsook it. I never had the power to save my home single-handed. I should have accepted their invitation. Had I joined them as I've joined you, I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. But it's all history now. No amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality.
Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope, no matter how bad things get. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Think about it. It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. If you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? I trust you too, for what it's worth. Here it is again. The fire that burned in my breast when you came to my rescue. The urge to weep, though there is no sorrow. If this is trust, then what must I do? How do I answer it? Give me your hand. It's not something you do constantly, mine. A friend is a friend regardless. A friend? So that's what it means. Someone you trust. <laughs> 